Hello all, welcome to oratraininj.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we enable a DFF which is based on a table value set. Let me show you the functionality first and then we'll discuss about the list of components which we have created. So the DFF was enabled on the payable invoice page. So I'll just open an invoice or a create invoice now. So I just enter some data. Now here if you observe, or oh, let me finish entering the invoice number also. Now click on show more. And here it shows the DFF information in the additional information tab. Now this is the DFF field which I have enabled on the payable invoice. And this particular DFF is based on a table value set and also it has a dependency on the role. So the requirement generally you may come across is I want to show the list of values in the DFF and I want to control the list of values. Let us say if it is a simple lookup, by default, you know, I can just create a value set based on the lookup. That is fine. But now here I want to control the list of values based on the lookup as well as the role which is assigned to the user. Okay. So now the list of components, right? Now we have seen the functionality and let us see the total list of components which were created as part of this particular requirement. So the first thing is a lookup, the common job role, value set, and the DFF on the payable invoice page. So let's see the first thing. I have created a lookup which has three values, like um, one, two, three kind of thing. One, two, three. So three records are there in this lookup. Now the next thing is I create a custom role and here make sure that this particular category should be common job role. Okay, so nothing but a role which you create should be assignable to the user so that you can control the validity of a role assignment to the user. So I just created a role here and the basic information you can observe the basic information and the step number seven you can observe that I have assigned this to a user called FAS 6, FAS 16 dot student. Now coming to the value set, very important one. So now the value set what we have created is based on a table value set we call it as nothing but it is based on a query or maybe a table. And here this is a value set information, the module and the validation type is table, value data type is character. And here we have mentioned the query here, which is based on a couple of tables, like uh, the user role table and the FND lookup. And then the value which we are expecting from this particular query is FLV meaning nothing but the lookup meaning. And here we specified the where clause such a way that the join is between these two tables and also the user who is running it right at runtime we want to understand the behavior who is running it whether that user is having a role assigned to his, them or not based on that then only we have to want to show the values so here if you observe the dff configuration here and the payable invoice header additional information and here the lookup name the dff name which you have mentioned is approval level choice and you can see that we have assigned this particular value set which you have created in the earlier step x or underscore approval vs and this is the final query of the value set which we have considered for the configuration. So you can observe here. These are the lookup like a list of tables we have considered. And here we have joined in such a way that who is the current user who is running it? FND global dot username. And also we have seen that if at all, if this role is assigned to this user, and if at all the role is assigned to the user, then only consider the lookup called this one, right? Or else we can also mention something like a one more condition. Let us say if this role is not assigned to this user, by default, if you want to show some other values, yes, you can just change this decode logic a little bit. And finally, we have seen that how did we, how we are able to see the list of values in this particular lookup, right? So this is how we can consider a table value set. And also let me show the table value set once. So now here, if at all, if the, Flexi fields are not enabled on the page. You just click on your user account and click on show flexi field. As of now, I have already highlighted flexi field. That's why it is showing unhighlight. If at all, if they are not enabled by default, you just click on highlight flexi fields and you should be able to observe this particular icon. Once you click on this descriptive flexi field icon here, it'll navigate to another page and it will clearly tell you what is the name of that and status of it. And you can just click on edit pencil icon and find out the list of segments or whatever the things which are there or not, you can configure respectively. In our case, we have configured this approval level choice and you can just see click on edit icon here. And this is our value set. 
click on view value set okay so now here we able to understand that like we have mentioned this from clause and here we mention the where clause in the where clause when you mention don't mention the where where keyword again and also the finally this lookup meaning you just mentioned the value which you're expecting from this particular table value set okay so this is all about you know like uh, assigning a table value set to dff and also dynamically you know like uh, showing the list of values and let me show finally the role also so i'll just click on the user the custom role which you have created so click on tools security console So this is a role category of common job role and role code role name and the remaining steps nothing assigned simply click on users and i just assign to only one user okay so these are the list of things we have configured and yep and this is how it looks like and if you want to change or if you want to add some more behavior yes it is still possible it all depends upon the logic which you add in the table value set query okay so this is all about enabling a DFF on a page which is based on a table value set. Okay, thank you.